Well folks, this is Bill from Little White Dory. It is Sunday evening and uh, the roses are really in full bloom. We've got tons of knockouts. This one I think is the most amazing. It's just a, a lavender purple. It's just a pretty, pretty color. Got one of my Carolina Reapers planted in here. I've had good luck in this spot in the past. Hopefully it'll work this year. We uh, finished up our tomato sales, tomato plant sales today. Um, my wife tells me I needed about $1,700. I'm happy about that. It's going to take a quick walk to the backyard and show you the remains of my plants. I have a few left. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to roll this out and just put free. I don't know. It's not that many of them to take them someplace otherwise. We wound up getting, uh, I'll say, stuck with several Roma tomatoes. Those are all Roma over here. Over here, we've got some Dad's Sunset and some Great Whites. That's it. Three different varieties. I have one more Carolina Reaper back there. And I think one or two uh, Anaheim chilies. But uh, we, we went to the sale today for one dollar a piece. And we got the fancy tomato plant sign. One dollar. And we sold about 70 of them today for a dollar. So that wasn't so bad. I guess that was a, a goofy experiment worth playing with. We have um, a new hen. <laughs> we were out selling tomato plants and um, a woman stopped and saw that we had the egg carton out as a display to say that we have some chicken eggs for sale. And she asked about chickens and we talked. Turns out she had a few, but she was down to one. She lost a few to a raccoon. So she only had one and she asked if we were interested. So we said, sure. Let's see if I can stick my camera up here and get a glimpse of the new girl. Focus on her? I don't think so. Can't quite see her. But the, uh, the young girls are out. They're the dirty stay outs. It's about 7.30 I guess, maybe going on 8. And uh, my gosh, the tomatoes are growing like crazy. I really have to get them set up on a trellis. I bought the plastic clips. I just got to get my uh, T-posts in and uh, start some strings running down from these. They're doing well. And I don't remember if I showed it in the previous video, but one of the things that we're growing are ground cherries. And you can see, well I guess if I flip it you see it even better, that there's already fruits. And I don't know how these are going to taste. I'm assuming they'll taste like the ones I've had in the past. Um, but they were very nutty flavored. Very interesting. We've got a lot of very scrawny asparagus. Or is it asparagus? I don't know. Um, not sure too much. I'm just letting them grow. I think that's the first year you're supposed to do that for a few years. Got a few pepper plants in here. And I think on the asparagus you just let them go for a couple of years to get established. We've got some really awesome scapes. They're a little curled. We pulled a bunch off. I had them in my short ribs for tonight. I see, let's see, one, two, three, maybe four, five, six, maybe a dozen tops or maybe ten more scapes. And then I have these over here. And I'm thinking, are these going to be asparagus seeds? I don't know. I guess that's the flower. I don't know whether they um, produce a seed or not. Maybe if somebody knows, you can leave a comment. If they do, I'll probably, I should be probably taking them off. Unless they just drop. They don't stand up very well. Um, I'm finding that they're flopping down. So I've got all these fiberglass posts here that I keep thinking I'm going to tie things to. But uh, let's see, I'll take you a quick peek in the back. 
I know the last time I did this video we had a, a few roses popped but ever since then we've had many more they um, there's some of them are just really 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 pretty I'll show you the white ones here they're just so amazingly bright white it's just incredible and they're seemingly so perfect but they want to I'm trying to get the, the angle just right, but it's it's actually hard because the uh, light is reflecting. We got quite a few white ones. The leaves have some brown spots on them. I don't know what that's about. I suppose I should be putting some more fertilizer here. And I know I've said it a hundred times. I'm going to get to these. It's going to rain tomorrow, but I might just come out and do it in the rain. Get these cleared out and put the remaining some of the remaining tomatoes in. We've got these. Um, Kind of hard to see if the colors will show. I think they're not, they're just not quite uh, showing here. I'll try this one. But they're just amazing. This is brilliant, brilliant colors. From On my screen, it's not quite giving it the, the color that it is. This is showing up a little more red, but there's a dark <laughs> rose red color in here and these uh, these flowers are kind of like um, oh what would you call it you know multicolor tie-dyed almost I know I have the light on on the camera the flash so it might be distorting it but it's really looking good um, we have the uh, chicken tractor set up for a auxiliary coop I have one broody hen that's been spending the days in here but I've been letting her go back into the coop at night. I'll see how I can break that. But we've got food, water, and some decent shade and ventilation in here. But that's it, folks. Tomato sales are done. It's been a long day. We're having a beautiful sunset. And um, I think we're going to wrap up Sunday and go have a glass of wine, watch some television, and go to sleep early. Oh, and the update on the... Uh, the horse farm. I haven't said much about the horse farm because, you know, you don't want to count the chicken that hasn't hatched. And we've had back and forth and back and forth with the seller. The seller is very emotionally attached to her horse farm. And she's really just, just you know, she's agonizing over selling it. She thinks it's worth way more than it's worth. And in the very last minute, we found that the septic system that was on the property was never approved never got any permits so needless to say I said I'm sorry but I can't go for the price that I was originally going for and uh, we requested that she knock $25,000 off the price and needless to say she wasn't happy but I guess her realtor and maybe her attorney kind of got through to her and said hey you gotta fix this everybody's gonna say the same exact thing this is a problem so we uh, we negotiated down and we will accept it as is and we're just going to incorporate this into our improvement plan so all things being equal we're happy I hope I hope fingers crossed that this time tomorrow we will have signed contracts in hand and hopefully be in or on the property as she's saying now maybe by the end of June so we'll see I think that's the only thing we gotta make sure we can get a good date alright folks We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.